Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Hope you guys are doing good. I am doing just great. So you are looking at the back of the, I want to say Dragon Burst. It's the green and the blue, uh, kind of like mixed together, fading in to fading out. And this is the back of the body now. Now again, this is epoxy resin that's on the back of this. I masked off the sides. Give me a little bit of like what they call a drip skirt. All right, so when you pour over the edges, it goes over the tape and drips down instead of going over the finished edges so what I did here and I don't know if you can see it but I'll see if I can get a flashlight to kind of bring it in so what you got here is there's some blue mixed with the green now I didn't stripe this even though it looks like it's striped this is one piece of wood another piece of wood another piece of wood another piece of wood here and this is kind of like the bigger piece of it but as you can see, it goes like a green, but there's a green and a blue mixed inside here. So where the lines are, the green, uh, that's got a little bit of a blue to it, and the green's on top of it. This one kind of colored a little bit differently, more of the blue with a little bit of green in it. This one's kind of more of the green as well. And this is like this piece over here where it's got the striping is blue, and then it's got the green on top. I wish they would have like matched all the pieces of wood so they were all the same instead of being different pieces but that's not what this video is about check this out this is Detroit Wrecker and his new toy that I ended up uh, doing some work for him uh, check out his video man you know what they say about paint jobs until you see it in the Sun you haven't seen it but today we're talking about this paint job in the Sun if you guys had not followed this guitar, this just got back from Eric C., The Art of Noise. This is the Devlin. It is shaped similar to a Stratocaster. The neck profile is that of a Les Paul. And when I first got it back, um, we had put the uh, Les Paul pickups out of the Devlin DV400, which were very nice. But I didn't want it to sound like a Les Paul. Uh, it sounded like a Les Paul. Wanted it to sound more like a uh, Strat, like my uh, Charvels, kind of, right? But this is perhaps the greatest rendition of the Eddie Van Halen uh, paint scheme I have seen to date. If you see all that sparkle in there, that is the pearl that is in the paint. You know, and I was just gonna work up a little solo and everything for you guys to hear on this, and, I, and I've been I've been putzing with this guitar on and off. When I got it back, I, I put new pickups in it. Then I was adjusting the um, the saddles. These Schaller Lockmeister um, Floyd Roses are fantastic. Um, they're very adjustable. This one came with a shim right in the middle. I took that out of there because. This is a uh, 16 radius fretboard, which I want to talk about that too because this also speaks to Eric's uh, professionalism. This, uh, he put new frets in this guitar. We did not know. I did not know. I never played this guitar. I grabbed it from a guy and I never played it. The strings were disgusting, so I never played it. And this is a 16 radius fretboard. It had like 12 radius frets on it. So Eric refretted this entire guitar. And let me tell you something about uh, if you like your action nice and low, this is the 12th fret here. That's my action, you guys, at the 12th fret high E string. I have zero buzz and I still could crank it down more. I'm just putzing with it now. I've, I mean, it was, it was great when it came back. But, you know, you've got to adjust your guitar to what you want so I've been you know on and off just kind of uh, ever since I've, I put them other these other pickups in I have been you know adjusting the neck a little bit here and there but Eric did a great setup on it, it as very uh, you know a basic setup which was fantastic I, I'm sure a lot of people wouldn't have touched it but you know I, I've been playing a long long time now and I know what I like and I know the feel I'm going for and god uh, do I have it with this guitar he did, uh, we did incorporate the original Devlin logo, which is pretty cool. Let's flip it out, flip it back here. And of course now I have the cavity cover off. I know, <laughs> I'm putting it back on. 
It's just because I was adjusting things. It will go back on, I promise you. I'm not the guy that leaves my cavity covers off. <clears throat> so here's the back of it. And again, I don't know. I mean, we're in the sun. So the sun is where you get every flaw, scratch, ding, dent, screw up. There are none, you guys. I mean, it's just the finish he put on this is perfect. And by the way, you don't feel any, any, there's like nothing. Like you think you would feel lines across there. There's nothing that you don't, nothing at all, period. And he left the neck fast for me and I'll probably go over it a little bit again as time goes on, you know, when you clean them up. There's the Eric C, the Art of Noise logo. I'll flip her back around one more time for you guys. I'm gonna do you guys a uh, sound sample with this uh, soon. Um, you know, I'm just so impressed by not just the paintwork, but the fact that he retrofitted this Floyd and his fretwork. Again, I cannot say enough good things about Eric's fretwork. It, it just, it really is remarkable. And he had a time, that was something I wanted to say about these Schaller Lockmeister Floyd Roses, which is, they are fantastic. They're, like I said, very adjustable, but unfortunately with this one, uh, it must have not been caught at quality control because these, uh, the locking nut mechanisms here needed to be buffed. And um, it was actually, apparently it was breaking strings. Uh, once Eric buffed them out, they were fine. So it must have just not uh, been caught by quality control, which kind of sucks. But yeah, you guys, this is perhaps the greatest rendition of the Eddie Van Halen uh, paint scheme. I really hope you guys are catching the pearl in this. Uh, <laughs> feels fantastic. Sound samples coming soon. Eric C., the art of noise, just blows me away. Wow, what quality, what high, high quality work he does. Um, not that it's a surprise because I've seen a lot of Eric's work, but what to actually hold something in your hand that he's worked on, like I said, I cannot say enough about the fret work with this guitar and just everything. He did everything, but the fret work especially and the paint work, of course, especially is just absolutely remarkable. So until next time, I'll do a sound sample for you and uh, we'll catch you on that one. Peace out.